Hello and welcome to Rad System Studio. In today's video, I'll demonstrate one of the low-code features of Rad System Studio, the page custom validation property of the ad page. All right. In the previous video, while working on our simple clinic management app, we covered how to set field level validation rules in Rad System Studio. We disabled future dates for the prescription date field, restricted past dates for the next appointment date field, and set some mandatory fields. Mm. However, in real world business applications, field level validation is not always enough. Sometimes we need to apply business logic to ensure the application works as expected in real life scenarios. And that's where the page custom validation property of the ad page comes in handy. Before I show you how to set up page custom validation, let's go over a hypothetical scenario. Um, okay, let's say our doctor only takes four appointments per day, and therefore, when setting the next appointment date, our software should check whether all appointment slots for that date are already filled. If they are, we'll display a custom error message. If slots are available, the appointment will be saved to the database. Sounds good? All right, let's get started. To test this functionality, I've added some dummy data uh, to the database. The download link is in the description. If you're following along, download the updated database SQL file and import it into your local database. Once the database is set up, let's go back to Rad System Studio. As always, click on the Publish tab to make sure everything is up to date and ready for the development. Now, select the prescriptions table from the list, then choose the add page from the list of pages. Here, you'll see all the properties for the add page. Find the page custom validation property and click the button with the three dots to open the custom code window. Inside this code window, you'll see a function body with the parameter model data. A couple of things to note here. First, this is a server side validation. Since we're using PHP Laravel as our backend, any code we write here must be in Laravel PHP. Next, the model data array contains all form values submitted by the user. Each key in this array represents a form field, and its corresponding value is what the user entered. The function's return value also matters. Returning null allows the data to be saved. Returning a string cancels the save operation and displays the string as an error message. All right, time to write a few lines of code to bring this logic to life. First, um, let's query the prescriptions table to, ch to check the number of appointments for the selected next appointment date. Here I am using the Laravel Eloquent query. All these methods, such we where date and count, are the Laravel functions. Okay, next we'll add an if condition to verify whether any slots are available. If the count is greater than or equal to four, that means all slots are booked. And so we return an error message which will also cancel the save operation. Outside the if condition, we return null to ensure that if the condition isn't met, the data gets saved to the database. And that's it. We're done. Click OK to save the code. Now, let's save the project and publish it to see that the change is in action. Let's, let's open the add prescription form in the browser and test our quote. Um, okay, I'll quickly fill in the form fields first. For this test, I've already added four appointments for February 23rd, 2025. If I try to set the next appointment date to February 23, 2025, our validation should trigger an error. Let's check. Great! Our code works as expected and our custom error message is displayed. Now let's try selecting another date that still has available appointment slots. And let's see if it allows us to save the data. Perfect. The data is successfully saved to the database. And 
That wraps up today's video. With just, with just a few lines of code, we implemented custom business logic, making our app smarter and more efficient. That means we saved both time and money. If you haven't installed Rad System Studio yet, grab the seven day free trial and explore its powerful, low code, no code features. We've introduced a new annual pricing model. Get your license today and maximize your profits by cutting down app development time. Like, share, and say subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget that to hit the bell icon to stay updated on more tutorials like this. Well, that's all for now. I'm Ruturaj, and I'll see you in the next video.